Hello viewers, this is Too Fast here. In today's video, I'll be reviewing this endoscope inspection camera. This one here is made by the company Teslong, and it's the model number NTS500. Now the company Teslong have been making endoscope cameras for many years. This NTS500 is their latest model, and it has a large 5-inch color LCD display. This unit can be purchased with a single lens camera, dual lens camera, or an autofocus camera. The camera is dustproof and waterproof, so you can stick the camera under water. And you can record the video or take snapshots and save it onto a memory card. In this video, I'll go over all the features on this unit and I'll show you some of the recorded video and pictures. This Tesla endoscope comes in this carrying case. Let me open it up and show you. Here's a 5 inch LCD monitor. Right here is a camera probe attachment. In this bag is a USB cable and the different attachments you can attach to the end of the camera. And right here is a user manual. So let's take a closer look at this monitor. This one here is a model number NTS500. Right here is a very large 5 inch color LCD display. The resolution on this is 1080 by 720, which is an HD resolution. Now one very nice thing about this monitor is it's rainproof. This is great if you're doing work outside and it happens to be raining, or if you're working in an area where water can splash onto this. Right here is an on off switch. At the top, there's the LED brightness selector for the camera, which I'll show you later. There's a record button, OK button, up select, down select, settings button, and the mode button. With a mode button, you can select between camera mode, video mode, and playback mode. Looking at the top, right here is a switch for the LED flashlight. This will turn on the LED right here. Press it again to turn off. At the bottom, there's a rubber cover here. Now this unit comes with a 32 gigabyte micro SD memory card. Below the memory card slot is a micro USB connector. You can use this to charge the internal battery or using a USB cable, connect this to a computer and you'll be able to access the recorded files on the memory card. Here's a look at the back. Right here is a reset switch. Now inside the unit, there is a 3.7 volt lithium ion rechargeable battery and you want to use a USB charger that outputs at least one amp. To fully charge a battery is about three to four hours. When it's fully charged, it can run this unit for four hours. The overall design is very nice. On the right side, there's a raised rubber grip here, so you can hold this firmly with one hand. At the bottom left hand side, there's a metal ring here, so you can install a lanyard here, or install a clip. Here's a camera probe attachment. Now the NTS500 can be purchased with many different camera attachments. You can get a camera that's single lens, or dual lens. With a dual lens, you have a camera at the front, and a camera on the side. And the third option is a camera that has autofocus, and that's why I have right here. This is a 0.49 inch diameter autofocus camera and has a resolution of Full HD 1920 by 1080. Around the side, there are four high power LEDs for illumination. You can also select different length of the probe. This one I have here is 3.2 feet or 1 meter. If you need a longer probe, you can also get one at 9.8 feet. Now the reason I went with the autofocus camera is because if you get the regular single lens, those cameras do have an ideal focal length, meaning if you're too close to the object, the picture might be blurry or if you're too far from the object, the picture can also be blurry. With the autofocus camera, if you put it close, it'll autofocus, and if you move it further out, it'll still be able to autofocus. Now this camera can autofocus from 100 feet away all the way up to one inch away from the object. Now to connect the camera to the monitor, you see there's a red dot right here. What you want to do is align this red dot with a notch that's on the connector right here. Insert it, then tighten this collar. To turn on the unit, press and hold the power switch. And here you see the live image from the camera. This probe cable is semi-rigid, so you can adjust this to whatever shape you want, and it'll hold it in this position. With four LEDs on the camera, there are four brightness settings. Press the brightness selector button right here to change the brightness. Now with this camera, it comes with several attachments. This one here has a magnet at the end. 
This one has a mirror so you can look at things at an angle. And this one has a hook so you can use it to retrieve items. To install any one of these attachments, first remove the one that's on the camera. Now you can screw on one of these attachments. And you can do the same thing with these two other attachments. And to demonstrate the autofocus feature, here I have a Ryobi battery with a circuit board here. The camera right now is about 5 inches away from the battery. And you can see the image on the LCD screen is nice and clear. If I move the camera up close to the circuit board, you see the camera autofocus pretty quickly. Now right now the LED on the camera is turned off. If you need some more light, press the brightness selector button right here. This will turn on the LEDs. You can also reduce the brightness. Now looking at the display, you might find the picture to be a bit shaky. That's because I'm hand holding the camera right now. You can freeze the picture by pressing the OK button in the middle here. What you want to do is wait until the picture is focused. Press the OK button and now this picture is frozen. Now you can carefully study the picture. If you want to unfreeze it, press the OK button again. Looking at the top left hand corner, you see there's a camera icon right here. Right now we're in the photo taking mode. If you want to take a picture, press the record button right here and the image is saved to your micro SD memory card. If you press the M button, the mode button, this will toggle over to the video mode. With the video mode, if you press a record button, it will record a video. And you see a record icon at the bottom here. Press it again to stop the recording. You can also flip the image by pressing the two arrow buttons right here. If you press the mode button again, now you're in a playback mode. Here you can play back the recorded video. Press mode again to go back to photo mode or video mode. Now let's go into the settings. Press the settings button right here. First menu item, resolution, press OK. Here you can select 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720. Recording. Here you can turn on and off the microphone for the video recording. Day stamp. You can turn a day stamp on or off. Press the settings button again. Now you're in the system setting. First menu item, auto power off, by default off, you can set it for 5 minutes or 10 minutes. Language, here you can select different languages. Day and time, here you can set the day and time. Format, to format the memory card. Default setting, here you can restore to factory default. Version, this will show you the model number and the support information. When you're done, press the settings button again to exit. And to turn off the unit, press and hold the power switch. So let me show you a couple of examples of using this endoscope. So for example, I can use the inspection camera to see how much brake pad wear is on this wheel. Now normally just looking at it, you won't be able to see how much brake pad wear you have. And to really find out, you do need to remove the wheel and take a look. But with the inspection camera, we can stick the camera behind the caliper and have a clear image of the brake pad. So here I can stick the camera along the back side here and see the outside pad. So right here is a brake pad. As you can see, it still has a lot of pad materials on it, so it's good. If you want to freeze this image, press the OK button. If you want to take a picture, press the record button. Now if you want to record a video, press the mode button to go into video mode. Then press the record button to start recording. Now this unit does have a built-in microphone. So you can describe what you're seeing and the audio will be recorded onto the video. And when you're done with the recording, to stop it, press the record button. And the video is saved to the memory card. Now this unit does have a built-in microphone. So you can describe what you're seeing and the audio will be recorded onto the video. Now to check the inside pad, there is a hole on the front side of the caliper. You can stick the camera in that hole. Right now you're looking at the piston of the caliper and to the right of it is a brake pad. You can press the OK button to freeze the picture and then take a picture. Now when it comes to servicing or repairing your vehicle, having an endoscope inspection camera can be very useful. Anywhere you have a tight space that you cannot see visually, you can place a camera in there and see clearly what's going on. So for example, if you want to have a better look at the condition of a drive belt and see if the belt needs replacing, you can use the inspection camera to have a very close-up look at the underside of the belt 
and see if it's cracked or damaged. As you can see, the camera shows you a very clear image. Again, you can take a picture or record a video. Now, one thing nice about having the autofocus camera is if I put it really close, it will autofocus. If I move it back, it will automatically focus again. So you don't have a fixed limited distance to get a clear image. As you can see, this Tesla NTS500 endoscope is a very versatile tool to have. As I mentioned, at the time of purchase, you can pick different type of camera lens. Now do keep in mind the autofocus camera is bigger in diameter than the single lens camera. So if you're going to be using this in a very confined space, the single lens or the dual lens camera might be a better choice. At the time of this review, this retails for $210. If you want to learn more about it, check out the link below. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.